Yeah, they're actually happening right now, as you just mentioned. The big question we got late last week, you just mentioned it as well. Could it happen here? The reality is Sacramento and New Orleans are two different cities. You can't compare the situation, but we do know that in Sacramento, the risk for flooding is always high, and that's why the repairs, the constructions, and the improvements to the levee system in our area is crucial. This is one of the many projects happening here. This is uh, along Garden Highway. Miles and miles, 42 miles in total of repairs of the levees surrounding the Natomas Basin. That's a total of $1.3 billion improvements happening here. And one of many, actually. And you can see it with the USF Army Corps of Engineers has also recently completed the new Folsom Dam Auxiliary Spillway and levee improvements from Folsom to downtown Sacramento. More than $1.5 billion of flood risk management features along the Sacramento and American Rivers, and they've also widened the Sacramento bypass. In spite of the billion dollars spent on improvements, Sacramento, though, still one of the most at-risk cities in America for river flooding. A spokesperson for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Sacramento District, tells us, while this significant investment to improve Sacramento's flood management infrastructure has and will continue to considerably reduce our risk of flooding, we can never be completely uh, eliminating all flood risk. We must all remain vigilant and prepared for a bigger flood event. Very important news with these repairs. Follow me on my Facebook page, Carlos Herrera News. We have a Facebook Live coming up for more details on what's going on here, Walt. Thank you. All right, guys, good morning. If you're just uh, joining us on Facebook Live here, we're uh, along Garden Highway here near um, Interstate 5. You might have seen this project here before. This is along the Natomas Basin, 42 miles of levees being repaired. Now, the reason we're here today is because you might have heard over the weekend uh, the tropical storm Barry hitting New Orleans. New Orleans is the... Uh, made biggest city in the, the United States with the first biggest levee system in the country. Sacramento is the second biggest levee system in the country. So the connection here is, should we be keeping an eye on what's happening in New Orleans with the flooding and what's the potential of it happening here? We just spoke about that on Morning Blend. The reality is, and as I, as I explained, is these are two different cities, different situations, but they're really keeping a close eye on that because the levee systems need to be continuously repaired and improved. And that's exactly what officials are doing here to make sure that we stay safe and protected. You can see it here along Garden Highway. The reality for us is that there's a big danger because we live behind a levee system here. So these need to be improved continuously. And that's exactly what they've been doing. This is a 42 mile stretch of levees being rep repaired around the Natomas Basin, one of the many projects that uh, the federal officials have been working on, along with uh, other partners, local partners as well, to help improve the situation. This is a $1.3 billion uh, project that's worth of improvements. And I want to check in with our Facebook viewers right now. People asking, how long will the project last? This project is expected to be completed by 2020, the fall of 2020. So that's why Garden Highway will be closed for miles, for months as well, as these repairs continue. That's the bad news, but the good news, is, of course, is we need to repair these levees to make sure that uh, another catastrophe like uh, the ones we had in 97, those floods in uh, Sacramento, don't happen again. We know how bad it gets here during the winter time, and that's exactly what we want to prevent. Uh, we had a poll going on on our Facebook Live. Do you think this will help the levee? 60% of you said yes, 40% say no. Actually, now it's 70 and 30, so uh, a lot of people thinking, yes, it will help, and that's exactly what federal officials are hoping for, to stay of, uh, kind of prevent what's happening in New Orleans to happen here. Now, let's talk to you more about other projects that are going on to make sure that our levy system are staying up to date. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said uh, there's uh, also completed the new Folsom Dam, the auxiliary spillway, and levy improvements from Folsom all the way to downtown Sacramento. Long stretch here. That's more than $1.5 billion of flood risk management features along the Sacramento and American rivers. They've also widened the Sacramento bypass. However, we do know the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta 
has a whopping 1,500 miles of levees. And in spite of billions spent on improvements, Sacramento is still one of the most at-risk cities in America for river flooding. That's why the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Sacramento District tells us this statement. Here it is. While this significant investment to improve Sacramento flood management infrastructure has and will continue to considerably reduce our risk of flooding, we can never completely eliminate all flood risk. We must all remain vigilant and prepared for a bigger flood event. So again, we cannot stress this enough. The preparation, the repairs, and the construction for this is key. The risk for flooding in Sacramento is always high. Stay with me on Carlos Herrera News. That's my Facebook page. I'll have more updates on this uh, all day long.